field called Quarry South and this is a bit of an experiment. It was meant to be uh, quinoa this, uh, this summer for British quinoa but sadly the frost in April uh, took that crop away. Uh, so we took the opportunity to plant a living mulch in here, so an understory of white clover. This is um, uh, a very short stemmed variety so uh, we will be able to plant wheat directly into this uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, the sheep obviously have been grazing this side of the fence uh, and then we just moved them across to be able to, uh, to graze this other side as well. I mean, something there on a move somewhere. Um, so it's a really nice understory at the moment. There's a few weeds with a fat head of thistle in here. Um, you can see it's all flowering away at the moment. So great for pollinators. Um, and uh, yeah, these ewes have been on here for about ten, well, 10 days on the other side. Fields um, that have been, uh, oh, been on the farm for a few years now. These are actually the Challenge Sheep Group, part of the AHDB's project to have a look at um, the, the whole life cycle of sheep and to find out how long they stay on farms, the reasons for them being cold. I hope they're not going to try and break through that fence now. I'm coming in to see them. Um, leave them be now, they seem quite happy out here. <coughs> so yeah, we'll try and graze this half down probably for about another week uh, and then we will move them. We've got another 12 hectares to go at just the other side of the fence there. Um, and then we'll be straight in here with a cross slot to, uh, to plant some wheat. Uh, so hopefully it's going to dry up a little bit. We definitely needed some rain out here. It was bone dry. Uh, but we just hope that um, it's actually going to stop raining soon and uh, we'll be able to carry on with the drilling. So yeah, living mulch going into wheat, and we'll try and keep this understory going for as long as we possibly can uh, in the rotation. Uh, we'll reduce the nitrogen that we put to the, the cereal crop, the wheat crop. This will obviously be fixing nitrogen. We dug some roots out of here the other day, um, and uh, they're really great tap roots, lots of nodulation going on. So uh, this will be fixing nitrogen. The sheep grazing, it will be triggering uh, the release of that nitrogen into the soil. Uh, hopefully then, that will be available for our crop when we uh, when we plant it, say in about a week, 10 days time. It's the 1st of October today. Uh, it's a lovely day at the moment. Um, nice bit of sunshine, had a few showers through today. Um, we just hope that the, uh, the sunny weather just sticks with us for a little bit longer. <laughs> 